lecture i'm going to connect python with mongodb so here first uh, we need to install the important package by mongo so let's open the command prompt and uh, here if i search if i type and type python and press enter so here you can get the python 3.95 latest version that install so when that uh, install after that uh, let's uh, Op cancel and open the command prompt once again and first we need to install the package called pymongo now paste there so pip install pymongo here collecting pymongo using cache and uh, the size 383 kb and installing collection it's successful so this package that installed successful. Now thereafter we need to use this uh, code. So here client pymongo. So first that import the package pymongo. Hereafter client pymongo mongo client. Here you need to specify this address. Here my db equal to client. This is the new or database that uh, I'm going to create inside uh, uh, MongoDB thereafter information equal to MyDB and this is the table or uh, new table that I'm going to create and this particular record that going to uh, store inside there and here when this is the record and information dot is insert many so this will insert this records so let's uh, check that so here first uh, uh, let's open command prompt and here if i write mongo that here you get this message mongo cell version 4.46 it already installed okay so first uh, you need to install the mongo db and uh, thereafter install and set the path and if i click here sorry not this item let's close that i'm going to open no sql booster for mongodb so here there is no any percent employee database percent there okay now let's open any of your favorite uh, browser sorry any of your favorite id for Mong python so here I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code. So you can use uh, any. So here let's uh, open the file. Okay, any file you can open. So extension should be dot py. After that, uh, here let's uh, select this all and paste this code. So import py mongo package here this is the address and uh, here uh, this is the employee now here in no SQL booster there is no any employee so when that uh, code that uh, runs successfully here the one employee database that created and inside database table table one and this record inside there so let's uh, click on uh, start here python file so here it's so uh, running without any so okay it's so uh, successfully run because uh, there is no any problem with this code after that uh, here let's uh, open a no sql booster or you can here just cancel that and open once again So here you can see employee table that uh, created and inside table sorry employee, employee database created and inside table one is there so when i click here here you can see this piece of information you can see so let's uh, use here so this is employee id now here you can see this is employee id 7934 miller clark like that to uh, by using this let's uh, here change the 
database name employees that I'm giving and here this is table 2 and uh, change here 5 and uh, this one 20 now this time let's uh, open here command prompt and uh, writing mongo and uh, here writing so dbs so dbs same place you can see this all those things you can see now uh, this time here i did to uh, uh, little chances table to employees now let's run this code once again python file now it's uh, run successfully without any issue now here if i show dbs here you can see employees or uh, new db that created and uh, if you want to see the record inside uh, gui let's uh, open this time studio 3d So Studio 3D is opening. It's also based uh, GUI for MongoDB. And uh, here, next is let's click on the connection. Here you can see employees and employee. Two database that I just created here inside table 2. So this is the record 7935 mirror and uh, DPT number 20 that I inserted. So this is the simplest way we can connect with. Uh, uh, mongodb and python so one time going to repeat this code so first uh, here you need to install this important package called pymongo after that here import the pymongo package here client equal to pymongo that call mongo client and this address here mydb equal to client and the uh, inside you need to pass the database here information equal to mydb that uh, create uh, uh, that is the table name this information that I'm going to uh, insert so when uh, this information right there after that use information dot insert many so here this record this all record that inserted so insert many that means you can insert multiple records many records so I hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you